So the question is, training on the bench press, training in a commercial gym, you have a spotter, someone you don't know, someone who hasn't trained with you regularly, doesn't know your deal, comes along, gives you a little help in the last couple of reps. Is this a bad thing? No, it's not. Biggest thing you got to look at, you hear people say all the time, okay, if someone touches the bar, it doesn't count. The set doesn't count. The rep doesn't count. Well, that's important if you're talking about a powerlifting meet. That's important if you're talking about a PR attempt, a one rep max PR. Someone helps you with the bar. Obviously, you can't claim that as your own. But the training is not PRs, okay? A set of, of uh, five, six, seven reps, whatever you're doing in training, that's not a, a PR attempt, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't ultimately matter uh, if someone else gives you a little bit of help, right? At Grace School, we help people a lot. All right, so if I'm helping you on the bench press at Grayskull, I'm going to give you a little bit of help to get the last couple of reps, to, if that's going to give you a better training effect. Okay? The thing I always tell people when we look at this is, is this. Let's say we're using 225 pounds on the bench. Right? Now you are working and you get 225, and you need to do one, you need to do two, you do three, you do four, you do five reps at 225. Smoke them, you get all of them. You get on to the sixth rep, you get the bar about halfway up, and it just sticks. Okay? Now, that's the end of the session. That's the end of the bench press workout for you that day, if no one's going to put their hands on it. Now, let's say I come along and I put just my middle fingers on the bar from underneath, and I give you just a little bit of help, and I get that bar up, okay? And then we do that maybe one more time, okay? Or maybe we just do it the once, whatever the case may be. The biggest thing you got to look at is this. You were able to put 225 pounds of force at least into the bar, okay, in order to move it the first five times. All right, to, to quantify or measure how much force is actually going in the bar, that's not something that we're going to do or worry ourselves with. What we can look at, though, is that we know that on rep number six, you weren't able to put 225 pounds of force into the bar. If you could, the bar would have moved, okay? So maybe you can't put 225 pounds of force in, but maybe you can put 220 pounds of force in. If we were to somehow measure that with a force plate and whatnot, we're not going to get into that. We don't care, all right? That has nothing to do with, with good training. We can't put 225 in, but we can still put 220 in. Now, the way we look at it is that that's not any different than doing a drop set. If you do five reps at 225, you can't make six. We pull the plates on, you get one at 220. We pull the plates, you get one at 215. It's the same sort of thing if you have a little bit of help. Okay? Can we measure that? Can we say, okay, this person gave me three pounds of help on the way up? No, we don't have a way of saying that, but it doesn't matter. Okay? What does matter is we get the work done. We bust our ass, we make the progress, we try really hard, we push hard against the bar. Get a little bit of help, squeeze out a little bit of extra reps at the end, get some help with that intensity, all the better. Okay? Just keep that in mind next time you hear someone tell you that touching the bar makes the, the whole thing not matter. Okay? You just worry about getting strong.